Slows here and today I'll be talking about who I believe is the best infantry pet. I can confidently say it is the Sand Lizard. If you play the correct way of an infantry main. For example, if you're using Nika, you're playing them wrong. I don't think Nika is a good infantry hero, honestly. But eventually I will do an infantry hero ranking. Yeah, ranking from the best to the worst infantry hero. So stay tuned for that. But right now it's about the pet. And I'm going to explain to you why I believe Sun Lizard is the best pet for infantry. See, when it comes to my infantry march, there's two things that I care about the most. Shield and healing. Those are the two abilities that are going to keep me in the fight for as long as possible. Healing will just keep bringing back my troops and obviously shield will prevent some damage I take. Now, I believe out of all the pets in the game, there's two that can help you become more tanky. One is the Striped Bear, as his talent gives you some V-Gore, while the Sand Lizard gives you healing. Now, the reason why I've chosen the healing over more HP, because of two things. One, because of Goldwood's talent. As you can see, I'm receiving 30% extra healing bonus of course my goal would is very powerful as you can see but even if you have him at 5111 it's still 10 percent extra it's still gonna help you and secondly the talent tree heaven's blessing i've done it on both sides so again giving me another 10 percent extra healing so they just help the sand lizard's talent and it's every six seconds i mean with those bonuses it might not look a lot because it's only like 100 to 200 healing but think about the whole battle constantly getting 100 200 and so on throughout the whole battle that's gonna make up the numbers you get healed 10 times which is only 60 seconds one minute you're getting over a thousand hp so it only racks up the longer you're in the battle as i said the most important thing for an infantry is not damage this is why i don't rate nika but again we're not gonna get into that you want to have as much healing and as much shield as possible of course with you know high hp high defense and so on but in terms of outside abilities those are the two that will last you longer in the battle so now i've explained what the best pet is for infantry i'm going to tell you which skills to go for now I will say, as you can see, some of them are two stars and some are one stars. I unfortunately had to pay for some tokens for the purpose of this video. The day before, it wasn't complete. I didn't have heart wall, two star great care and robust body. But I thought, look, if I'm gonna make this video, I wanna make it as good as possible. So I had to put some money in, get the correct skills. So now I can show you what you should go for. So of course, his talent as we just shown healing every six seconds if i was you do not level up a sand lizard if it's not at least one star do not just keep capturing until you get the one star like it's a big difference so for these two skills robust body self heal stone aura these are both only from what i've seen the merit store so yeah you're gonna have to wait around for them to pop up or try and get as many merits as possible i mean hp is the best stat for infantry so whenever you can see hp you want to get it up and self heal stone aura oof, this only heals your legion see the original talent of the sand lizard is it heals surrounding legions of yours but usually you're gonna bring out one march max two if you're bringing out more i feel like you're just wasting your troops so you would rather just focus on healing your main march so this is a must because this increases how much it can heal you so originally i'm getting 69.14 healing factor but now because of the extra 10 percent i'm getting seven on top of that and then on top of that the goal with extra healing and the talent tree extra healing so that's what i'm saying it all just keeps adding up now for heart wall shield again shield or healing always prioritize those now bristles i believe this is what it does if i'm wrong then well i've just wasted some tokens on this but it weakens your enemy's attack by 1.2 percent i believe that's what mitigation means it lowers your opponent's stats so again it's an extra it's, it's think of it as like defense that's that's what it is you're lowering your opponent's attack therefore they're doing a less attack to you terror barrier defense is, is the next best thing to hp in terms of stats for infantry and lastly great care which is even more healing we have the sand lizard healing and we've got the great care healing and then on the talent tree i've got the healing talent and then we've got goldwood's healing that's four types of healing throughout the battle insane if i had to pick an eighth unfortunately i can't get counter strike as that's endurance and i already have three endurance and i've got three spirits so i can't get that so the only thing i could go for is intelligence now it's only in the merit store again but i believe there's a skill that again increases your pet's healing if that is intelligence that's what would be my eighth because that, that'll just make it insane man and i would love to get the one star on this but sadly it's not been there now look getting the one stars and two stars i mean just completing your pet skills in general is it's insane it can be extremely expensive i did get a bit lucky in some of them i mean 
I've been working on just one pet since the pets came out. So look how long it's taken me to finally complete them. And I had to buy some of those tokens just for this video. So I know it's not easy. I would recommend for any free to plays or low spenders, don't go for the two stars. They could end up being a waste of tokens, especially if you randomize it and it goes in the talent, then you're gonna have to abandon it. So don't. If you really want to, you could go for one star, but I would recommend no stars. First, fill it all out, get each skill. And then once you've completed your slots, then you can slowly start to save up to get those one stars. That's what I would do. When it comes to regenerating your sand lizard, I would try and at least get seven slots. If you can get eight, that's amazing. But for his base attributes, these are the best three. And I'm lucky, I can't believe I actually got these three. The only thing that could make it better is if the intelligence went more up, but it's still S rank. But if I could get it around here, like 30 or 31 or whatever, it's only gonna help my healing more. Like I could have got S on luck or strength or agility, but nope, I got all three of the ones I needed. Endurance, intelligence, spirit. As I've shown, that's what they all are. So I got extremely lucky, but there you have it. My explanation on why I believe a sand lizard is the best infantry pet, I'm confident in that. The only one you could argue is Strike Bear, but because of my talents and because of Garwood, it only makes sense to go with sand lizard because of that extra healing buff. I would never go with an attacking pet because in my eyes, it's why would you go attacking with infantry? You have marksman, you have mage, and you have cavalry. So why try to attack with infantry? Infantry should purely be tanks. That is it. Don't think of attack at all. Get that out of your mind. Infantry is defense. If you have attack on your mind, you have three other unit types. Go with that. <laughs> if you're the type of player who likes to do a lot of damage, infantry isn't for you. But if you want to be that guy who just who absorbs all the damage, the juggernaut, the hulks, the doomsdays, the supermans, this is what you need to go for. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something. If you did, would appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel and haven't subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all my Call of Dragons content or to be updated when I live stream, which is usually Master Tool. But hey, I might do Call of Dragons live streams again, but not when there's war. I can't let my opponents see what I'm doing. All right, with all that being said, good luck on completing your pair. Slouser is out.